because this first one is about a young woman named Amanda Palomino. And Amanda uh, has a similar childhood to mine. We grew up in the food industry with parents who worked and cooked and owned restaurants. And so she said she remembers her dad always preparing meals and she would prepare the sweets. So her love of baking was born. She's 27 now. She graduated from school in fashion actually, and then found herself home like a lot of people during the pandemic wanting to pass the time. So right. she started baking. She was giving it to friends, families, cookies. She um, started then thinking with her dad, what can we do to really make a difference? So they came up with this batter that matters. The website is ourbattermatters.com. And what she's doing is she's selling cookies. They're around $30 for a dozen. You can ship them anywhere you'd like. And part of the proceeds currently go to no kill animal shelters and she also was fostering Aww. animals during the pandemic and she said so much of it was such a stress relief for her so she wanted to give back that's how our batter matters was born as well as just you know doing something with her father since she was back home and making people happy so check out ourbattermatters.com if you want to get involved she said she's open to taking more suggestions too for where other proceeds can go to benefit different charities uh and just doing a lot of good right from her very own kitchen we love this Yes, uh, that's a win-win all the way around. Obviously, spending time with the family. Mm -hmm. uh, they bonded mm -hmm. uh, at an early age with their love of cooking and baking, and now she is doing something even greater yeah. to help the community. So I love that. Our batter matters. She is. And if you go on their website, they have vegan cookies, gluten-free, and she will tailor something if you Ooh. have a, a, an allergy or, or something to that effect. So lots of things in store. For you. All right, let's get to the next story because this is about Miss Deshante Cooley. And Miss Deshante Cooley lives in Mississippi. She works at a nursing home and she is dedicated to her job and loves her patients and will not miss work for anything, my friends. And here's a testament to that because, as we know, it has been a dangerous and treacherous cold snap through most of the South. But in Mississippi, the roads were icy. They right. weren't sure how to handle it. But Miss Cooley was not going to let that miss a day of work, deter her from work. So you know what she did, Christine? She drove 25 miles on her four-wheeler to get to work. The staff was so impressed that she what? made it, that they put on Twitter that she was a tough lady, uh-huh, and that she got there by any means necessary, even that that means oh, getting out yeah. that four-wheeler and driving in the road. You know, I often tell you that I tell my kid, I practice the stories with my kids because one, it helps me get the stories in order, but it also teaches them a thing or two, I hope. Sure. I hope they're absorbing something. And Isaac could not get over this story. He was like, what is a four-wheeler? How cold was she? Right. How long did it take her? He was full of questions. <laughs> I said, I do not know, but Miss Cooley is amazing. So we salute you. She is. Isaac, me, and Christine. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and we got time for one more, I think, Kara. Mm -hmm. Yes? Oh, we do? Okay, good, because this one, you know, we no? love to talk okay. about animals. This is about uh, bogey. Oh, we don't? Okay, we can save it for tomorrow. We can save it for tomorrow. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. we I do, can't we hear do. Anybody. So we you can do. just tell me if I can go or not. Oh, this delay, okay, okay, this okay. delay. Okay. This is about bogey and... <laughs> <laughs> a sergeant in the Marine Corps, Angela Cardone, and Angela and Bogey were um, stationed in Japan together when Bogey, she was being trained for um, narcotic detection, safety sweeps. They were partners for 15 months. Then Sergeant Cardone got relocated and redeployed in Hawaii. She thought she would never see Bogey again, but they reunited through American Humane. American Humane Society has a function within their organization oh. where they reunite um, military handlers with their animals. So that's how Bogey was able to safely be back with Sergeant Cardone. So happy homecoming. That just happened a few days ago, and we wanted to celebrate it here. Yes. Yes, we do. Reunited, and it feels so good. Thank you, Kara. Love you always, but especially on this Monday. That's right. I want all the Monday feels, guys. Let's do this thing. If you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, Kara would love to share it here on the show. It's facebook.com slash ATL and co, or tweet us using that hashtag, It's All Good.